Okay, this is another exercise with Lulu and uh, helping her to become desensitized uh, to pigeons. So uh, you can see that she's starting to show a little more uh, interest in the, in the bird there. And uh, so uh, what we're going to do is use some more clicker training and placement board since uh, she feels very comfortable in the placement board and place her close to it and uh, reward her for doing so. Lulu? Lulu? Come here, girl. Lulu, come on, place. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So each time that uh, she looks at the bird, I'm going to click her and treat her. And uh, once again, this is uh, a whole lot different from how uh, first began with her uh, seeing the bird and first exposure and her being uh, concerned, somewhat fearful uh, of the bird. But uh, this is much better. Uh, the pigeon is uh, quite close to her and she's actually going over to uh, the pigeon. In the past, she would have uh, wished she would run. So in a, uh, about a week's time, uh, she's uh, becoming more comfortable with it. Once again, using classical conditioning principles of uh, desensitizing her to the bird and pairing a positive association with the bird. Later on, uh, we'll start to work on prey drive. But first, she's got to feel comfortable about it. So this is a process. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Just good old classical conditioning principles. So, uh, prior to this, uh, she had been conditioned to the placement board and the clicker, so she knows that the clicker means the reward's coming. And, uh, once again, classical conditioning principles. Uh, she's making a, a positive association uh, with the bird. And so each time now that she looks at the bird or goes over to it, I click her and let her know that uh, uh, that's uh, the correct thing to do. And then uh, treat her. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, uh, release, the, release the pigeon. And uh, she's had a lot of, a lot of excitement there. Uh, uh, so helping her feel good about that. It was a good exercise. Lily did good. Good girl, Lily.